What is up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be going over linked list cycle two. It's a continuation of the first linked list cycle problem. It's a medium problem on e link code. Um, I started a Slack channel. I have the invite link below where I post daily link code problems. So join if you guys want. And lastly, check out my channel, subscribe. Now let's get to it. Question reads, given a linked list, return the node where the cycle begins. If there is no cycle, return null. So it's continuation of the first problem. We gotta first determine if there's a cycle. And then if there is, we have to determine where the cycle begins. Um, this part just explains what's going on under the hood, the input. Um, we don't really need to know that. We do not modify the linked list. So we return the same, uh, we, well actually we don't return the linked list, we just return the position. So um, we can't modify it. So right here we see two is where the cycle starts. So we would just return its position, which is one. Another example is negative, if they pass, say there's no pos position equals negative one means there's no cycle. So as you can see, there's no cycle. So we return null in that case. So there's two parts to this problem, basically. I'm gonna go over the first part on the whiteboard. Um, first part's the same thing as the first problem. We just determine if there's a cycle. So we have the slow and fast pointers. So I labeled them here for you. Fast moves two nodes at a time and the slow moves one at a time. And when they equal each other, then we if they equal each other, we know we have a cycle. If, if fast or fast that next ever equals null, we know there's no cycle and we can just return null. So I'm going to do fast first. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So if you think about it, slow is all we get is going to match the number in node in my example. Um, that's why I labeled them in order. So we could immediately determine after we do fast. Well, when it's 11, it's also on the 11th node. So that's where they're going to intersect, basically. So just to show you guys, if I keep going with slow, 8, 9, 10. So they equal each other here. So we just determined that um, they do have a cycle. That's where the intersect is. So let's code that out first. That's going to be a separate function. So I'm going to have this over list node intersection. And let's just pass it head. And um, we're going to create our pointers slow equals head. We started them off at the same place. Fast equals head. And while um, fast does not equal um, null, and fast.next does not equal null, uh, fat uh, slow equals, so we're moving slow one at a time and fast two at a time. And if slow equals fast, we can just return either pointer. Um, that we just determined that there's a cycle, so let's return slow. And if we break out of the while loop, then we know there's no cycle, so let's return null. Okay, and so then the second part of the problem, we go over on the whiteboard as well, we have to You just clear these. And so we're going to now have start and intersect. So we want to start the intersect where we found the intersect. So that's gonna be right here. We're gonna label it one. We're actually gonna move these at the same time. Um, starts at the start, the head. So if we notice start is one, two, three, four, five, six, six nodes away from the start of the cycle right here. Um, intersect is also gonna be six nodes away. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we just have to, when they equal each other, let's move them at the same rate. And when they equal each other, then that's where the start of the cycle is. So let's just code that. So let's do our base case first. So if head equals null or head dot next equals no, oh, my microphone's so far away. Uh, we're just gonna return null. 
And then let's get the intersect. So we're going to call the function. And if the intersect is null, then let's return null as well. That means there's no cycle. OK, so now let's create the start equals head. And while, um, yeah, while head does not equal start, or not head, intersect, sorry. We're just going to uh, move them along at the same pace. So start equals start dot next and intersect equals intersect dot next and then finally when we break out of that while loop that means we found the beginning of the cycle so let's just we can return either pointer again so let's just return start and that should be it so let's run it sweet and it works 100 percent um, really low memory usage because we it's actually O of 1 space complexity. We're not creating a new uh, linked list like the problem said. We're just creating two nodes. So O of 1 space complexity, O of N runtime. We're just um, looping through the uh, linked list. So that's it. So if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. I'll see you in the next video.